Hey everyone, this channel mostly focuses on multiplayer flights simulator content. With that said, I had so many people ask me how I made my World War II gun cam footage using DaVinci Resolve. If you're interested in my usual content, this video is not going to be for you. So I would just go ahead and click the card on the top right to take you to one of my normal videos. So now that I've given that warning, we can get started. I put the track on the timeline. Um, so this is a very short video that we're using. Um, it can be long or short, doesn't matter. The process is still the same. And I have the footage there. The first thing I do is I come down and I change the speed to 55. I'm double checking to make sure I have the full track visible. And I'm basically identifying when I want the video to end. And now I'm checking of when I want the video to begin. So it's paused, which lasts a long time. You remember the speed's reduced. And I'm getting ready to hit pause right there. So I stop and I identify where the video starts. I mute the audio because it sounds weird when it's reduced to 55% speed. And now I play it through. Now, basically, you want to get in the habit of actually watching your footage, footage. You're going to be familiar with it, but you need to make sure you're watching through it because now I've, I've caught that I've cut too much of it off the end and identify, I mean, right about here, like, okay, the, the clip should end here. So now that that's done, um, you know, I, I misclicked here, I clicked Fusion. You want to go into the color wheel. Uh, you have the clip selected on top left. You hit monochrome and now it's in black and white. So from here, we've have black and white, we have the right speed, and now we're gonna start adding the effects. And I hit open effects and with the search bar, I add the, the blur. And these are the settings that we're gonna, the, the effects that we're gonna be using. So blur, it's 0 0.264 is the strength of the setting. So I go ahead and add 26, uh, 264, 0.264, excuse me. Then I go into the sh camera shake and I drag it over onto the clip and you see it appears under the blur camera shake. I go back to my settings and look at what they are. Um, these are old screenshots from my previous video and I go ahead and add it on. And I'm, you know, now you can see that, that it looks different. There's a little bit of a shake, it's black and white, it's blurred out. So we're almost there actually. So with that, we add the flicker, which I think is actually a really good effect, but it's really easy to screw up. Um, it's a little bit too strong, so you need to bring it way down. Um, and if you want to get really technical, you can change the, the, the flicker depending on when your plane's shooting or not. I, I don't really do that, but you could if you, if you really want. Um, and you would just increase the, the shake amount, the range. And now when you look at it, you see there's that flicker, there's the shake and the blur, and it's black and white and the speed reduce. So I'm thinking that the, um, the shake's a little bit too much, so I'm going ahead and reducing it. And I also decrease the range of the flicker. Like I don't want such a black, white, black, white. And you see how it's a little bit more toned down. So, you know, you have to play around with it to find your settings. So, um, the next step is to add the 16 millimeter effect, the scratch and, and the grain. Um, I go ahead and save because this fucking this program um, crashes a lot for me. Um, you go ahead and set it to overlay, and then once you've added the overlay, when you click over it, you see how it, you see you add the scratches and the grain. So pretty much we're done here. Um, all we're gonna do now is gonna be adding more of the grain through the video. And when I try to preview, it gets really laggy. And that's because my system um, just can't really deal with all the effects and the grain. I know it'll come out fine when I export it and I watch and, I, and I, the track's done. Um, but this is basically how you would do it. So I, I copy over the grain and the scratch um, I add the sound effect on the bottom. This is the 16 millimeter like projector sound. And from there you're done. Um, all you need to do is render this and export it. But as I'm clicking through, you can see that, it, I mean, it, it's laggy, but it will work and it, lo and it looks fine. Um, and I've done this many times before with all my other videos. So this is basically how you do this. 
Uh, it took me a tremendous amount of time to try to piece this together for DaVinci Resolve. I didn't see any guides on YouTube on how to do this. They were only for Premiere. And my feeling is that a lot of people use uh, DaVinci Resolve now because it's free. So I hope you guys find this useful. If you end up making a video, feel free to put it in the comments. I feel like it'd be pretty cool to see what videos end up getting made because of this video. So with that said, if you're new to this channel, feel free to click around. I have a ton of Flight Simulator content and uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you so much and hope you guys have a good one.